So the more reports I read about this, about Halo Infinite moving to Unreal, it kind of does make a little bit of sense as when you actually think about it. Plus seeing other major franchises switch to Unreal recently, it also kind of falls in line. So I kind of want to dive deep into that and talk about how feasible would this actually be. If you guys are unfamiliar with the current state of the job market when it comes to big tech, things are kind of on a freeze right now. Bloomberg even reported this as well, that Microsoft cuts many open job listings and weakening economy. This is mainly based off of the inflation rates kind of soaring a bit right now in the United States, meaning that there are less investments happening, meaning less money being made, then that transfers over to less people getting hired in a way. If you guys enjoy these types of news videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the channel within that YouTube algorithm. This is all of Microsoft. Like even though 343 is like their own kind of company, they're part of Microsoft. They're a branch of Microsoft. They're not really like their standalone thing. Uh, I recently had a friend get hired at Microsoft. They're like, yeah, this is really rare. We just really need somebody. And you can see on 343's website, all the career job postings that were available, there were like about 20 job postings that were available all closed down right now. They're not hiring anybody at the moment. I'm sure you guys remember this multiplayer overview video showcasing like all the leads, talking about the multiplayer and how cool it is. Well, most of the people from this video are no longer working at 343. So 343 has lost tons of key leadership people on their team to then not be able to fill them because Microsoft is tying their hands where they can't hire these new people. I'm not sure if there's something along with like you can bring in different people like contractors to fill in work or something like that so you're not actually hiring them but still that is a big hit 343's hands are literally tied they can't bring in any more help because of this issue and i mentioned this in my previous video here but jess corn said that with the launch of slip space the state that i launched in there were basically no developer tools at all and sent through his investigations they found that people were either playing management like chris lee or bonnie ross but the one consistent he kept seeing of irritation was how Slipspace engine actually functions. And with the recent news of one of the lead engineers for Slipspace, David Berger, leaving 343, this kind of just all adds up to possibly something like this happening. A lot of times when people just kind of leave unannounced, it's mainly because the work that they're doing either gets completely cut or completely thrown out or they go some different route, which is not what their original vision was, which would totally lead to Burger leaving. I mean, Joseph Staten did this to Destiny back when they basically cut and chopped up all of his story that was gonna be for Destiny 1, and we got whatever story you can call that for Destiny 1, because the artistic integrity that Joseph Staten wanted for Destiny 1 wasn't what his vision was, and he left. Now walk with me as we talk about non-Halo stuff, but it ties back into Halo and its engine, right? So recently we had CD Projekt Red announce big announcements when it comes to the future of the company with a new cyberpunk game multiple witcher experiences and just a new ip altogether. so they're going all in when it comes to stuff but the big thing about this is that cd project red has announced a long-term partnership with epic games where they're going to be using the unreal engine 5 to build the next witcher game but they did state that they are planning to keep uh the cyberpunk franchise on their own private engine of red engine but you can kind of see how this is, might be a start of moving forward with the industry. We're seeing how powerful and easy it is to work with the Unreal Engine. Now, a lot of game companies are starting to see the benefits like, yeah, we have to pay for licensing fees, but we get to create the content that we want at a faster pace at a more efficient rate that probably negates the cost of having to pay for licensing fees. Though this is kind of crazy because Jess Corden just confirmed on Twitter the other night saying, okay, I heard confirm. The Tonka was definitely in development using Slow Space recently as of three months ago. So if you're truly moving over to Unreal, that's a major, major shift, which is very true. That's basically having to go back and redo a lot of work that was created and done to make it fit into this new engine. Now I'm not a developer, none of us are. We don't know how difficult, how hard that is. We've seen other games do this as well, where they either they move to a new engine or completely revamp it in some kind of way. I know we were all hoping for the Tatanka mode to be re revealed this summer with releasing this fall in 2023. But pretty much all reports I'm seeing now as in the last few months have been pointing towards the end of 2024 is when we could see this Tatanka mode being released. And these delay rumors were happening before all these Unreal Engine rumors started happening as well. But roughly about the same time frame, so this delay definitely would make sense if we're switching over to the Unreal Engine. So with Microsoft on a hiring freeze, 343 is unable to hire new people because their hands are tied because of Microsoft. 
the engine has been notoriously difficult to work in and seeing other franchises go you know what let's just do it in unreal it's going to be easier to me to feel like this all just kind of adds up to yeah maybe halo infinite is moving to the unreal engine and 343 community team which usually help debunk rumors going around and stuff like that have been completely silent on this unreal engine switch right here now this could be something that's going in the works that's not completely confirmed yet but we have heard from other sources that yes it has been confirmed that they are switching over this tweet here from jeremy penter says i can only confirm that many sources are saying this and very clear that it's already been decided halo is for sure switching to unreal i feel like it's about time for that switch and people need to be moving on kind of thing unreal is a great choice which could be very true and also we do know that right now with the mcc it uses the unreal engine so it uses unreal more for the ui experience nothing involved with the, with the games with all the games are still on the original blam engines but they use unreal for a lot of the ui experiences this is why when you go into like the customization side of things right you put on like a gold coating for like your assault rifle in halo 3 it looks shiny and gold when you play it in game it just looks like a textured yellow because in the ui they use unreal to render their items i have this video right here where i upload when i I had an interview with a level designer that worked on 343 Halo Infinite's campaign and he stated that like his experience with Unreal Engine that he was kind of doing in his free time actually did help out with him working in slip space so there is some similarities there as well sorry for the background the overlaying it's weird but that's just the editing how it came out with the video and how the slip space engine utilizes a lot of the similar engineering languages like c sharp and c plus plus so i feel like a lot of these isolated stories are actually connected together into one bigger picture to showcase yeah maybe going to unreal might be the play because Right now, the slip space of how difficult it is and how much people want to have more content put into Halo. Right now, for the short term, like it's all going to be forged. Like I don't really see much of the way developer made maps. If it does happen, it's going to be really slow. I mean, we do have those two new maps coming in for season three, but maybe that way to get to seasonality, maybe is to switch over to Unreal. But we'll just have to wait and see until we get some official information from either 343 or Microsoft about this whole thing, which I will keep you guys updated on the channel here. Make sure you subscribe. Now, Microsoft also must be fuming at 343 not because of the state of halo infinite but because of how edge runners the tv show for cyberpunk is succeeding and blowing up cyberpunk once again while the halo tv show really failed here's a little preview clip of the video i think you guys will like it now as you can tell by my background right here i'm a bit of a halo fan so when the halo show was announced and coming out i was super excited about it and i would say for overall the show definitely had some highlights but certainly some lowlights as well hello master chief I'm Cortana. Are you sure about that? And in this video I have premiered on Friday, I'll be in the chat with talking with you guys, talks all about this. So click the video link right here, set your reminder, and I'll see you all on Friday. Thank you all for watching, and have a great day. Peace out.